Let's make a slideshow here in After Effects. So here in my project panel, I have six images. We need to select these images and the order in which we do is very important. I have an entire video dedicated to this, but super long story short, the image that you want to see first in your slideshow, click on it, hold down the shift key, click on the last image that you want to see in your slideshow. So with these files selected, grab them and drag them down to the new composition button at the bottom of the project panel. And when you do, the new composition from selection dialog box will pop up. So create single as opposed to multiple compositions. Fantastic. Down here for dimensions, all of my images are the same size. Making this example nice and easy, if yours were a different size, you can actually nominate which image After Effects should reference when building the slideshow dimensions. And the still duration, it's set to three seconds and zero frames, which is perfect for this example. Add to render queue, no thank you. Now, sequence layers. This is where the magic happens. With this currently turned off, we would get a composition with six images stacked on top of each other as six layers. So to actually see one image after the other, we need to turn this option on. Now you don't have to have an overlap, but in this case, I'm thinking a bit of overlap would look great. So remembering each image is coming in at three seconds. So I'm thinking a duration for the overlap of one second and zero frames should look nice. And lastly, just down here, the transition, we have three options. I'm liking dissolve front layer. Okay, so let's choose okay and see what we get. And check this out guys, fantastic. Here is our slideshow. After Effects has beautifully staggered all of those images. And with all of the layers selected, if I press the T key to bring up the opacity, check this out. After Effects has also added opacity keyframes and it's actually fading one image out over the one below it over the entire duration of the composition. So fantastic, how easy was that? Slideshow done, very nice. So that was creating a slideshow from scratch. What I'm going to do is just select all of these layers and delete them. And the reason I'm doing that is I just want to have a blank composition down here. I'm going to select my files, bring them in like so, and maybe I'll just uh, shorten them all up. And maybe just say layer two just here, I'm going to lengthen that just there like so. So let's say you're already halfway through creating this thing. I wanted to show you how you can access that sequence layers option, but doing so having already got the process started. So you can see here guys, six images. They're all roughly two seconds each, except file number two here, image number two just here is roughly four seconds. Okay, now remember I said before the order is important. So if I clicked on say image six just here, and then shift clicked on image one. When I generate the slideshow, we would see image six first. So just keep that in mind. There's no right or wrong way here. In this case, once again, I want to see image one first. So I'll click on it first, hold down the shift key, click on image six just here. So I've got all the layers selected. So let's now go up to animation, keyframe assistant, sequence layers. Recognize this thing from before guys? It's basically the bottom half of the dialog box we saw earlier. So there's our overlap option, which I definitely would like on. And in this case, I'm thinking zero seconds and 15 frames sounds pretty great. And again, I might just leave this set to dissolve front layer. So let's choose okay. And check this out. After Effects has again automatically built our slideshow for us. It's also honored the length of the clips that we had in here earlier. So you can see each layer is roughly two seconds that it was before. Image two just here is at the roughly four seconds it was before. And with all the layers selected, if I press the T key to bring up the opacity, there are all those automatically generated keyframes for us. Fantastic. Oh, and guys, if what you built just here, it actually extends beyond the end of your composition. In other words, if you don't have enough time, just go up to composition, composition settings, and you can change the duration just there. So I might wrap things up there, guys. I hope that helps you with your creation of slideshows here in After Effects. Have a good one. Catch you later.